Good evening, Rock Hill, South Carolina. Come on, boxing fans, I want this building to shake. Southport Promotions, in association with St. Michael's Boxing Club. It's Saturday Night Fights. Sponsored by the United States National Guard and Heartland's Bar. Give it up, give it up, yeah, yeah. This event is sanctioned by the South Carolina Athletic Commission. Supervisor in charge is Robbie Bolin. Our referees are Bill Clancy and Wayne Spinola. Our judges are Nikki Mesa, Pedro Claudio, Troyce Stamey, and Barry Lindenman. Our timekeeper is Jason Collins. And last but not least, our physician is Dr. Oliver Harden. So give it up for them. Give it up, give it up. Are you ready for the first fight of the night? Get a little bit louder. Are you ready for the first night of the fight of the night? There we go, there we go, there we go. Our first fight is four rounds of the cruiserweight division. Coming into the ring first, from the blue corner, weighing in at 199 pounds, with a record of three and eight, two knockouts, from St. Louis, Missouri, it's Leroy the Jackhammer Jones! I, I haven't I haven't seen him before either. He was in the ring and his last loss was to Benny uh, Sinekin. So and in okay. the red corner, weighing in at 199.5 pounds, 5-0 and zero with 4 KOs from Ridgewood, New York, by way of Italy, Giovanni Leonidas Scuderi! Definitely have seen Giovanni Leonidas a couple times. He doesn't play around, man. He gets in there and goes for destruction pretty oh, quickly. Man, uh, you're not kidding. Um, you know, like you said, uh, when they announced him, uh, five five KOs in the last uh, several fights that he had. Um, his last uh, match he had was the KO and defeated uh, William Patch. Um, th this guy swings for the fences, man. He's no joke. He is the he is the truth. He's the real deal. Yeah, he's a he's a talented young man, and he does not he does not go in there to mess around. I tell you, uh, over the top ropes. Yeah, just, hey, he did that the last time, did he not? Yes, he did. Like, like we talked about how he's got like five foot of legs, right? And uh, he could just hurdle a rope just five foot tall with no problem yeah. at all. <laughs> Crazy. I tried it one time; it didn't go well for me. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't have. I'm five nine, five ten at best, man. My legs aren't that long. I don't have any business trying to hurdle five foot of anything. Yeah, I'm barely six foot, but I definitely tried it. It did not go well. <laughs> We won't talk about what happened, but no, I don't. Next time you try it, they'll take a video. Yeah, I know. I'm done. Never tried it again. <laughs> All right, guys, we are here in Rock Hill, South Carolina. We are live. We are starting our first fight, and I'm super pumped. Thank you so much, all you guys, for being here. I'm the Viking, and here with Trip. Trip, say hi. Uh, uh, hello, guys and girls. Uh, once again, welcome to uh, South Park Promotions. Um, here in the big city of Rock Hill again. It's good to have you with us, whether it be by pay-per-view or uh, in person. Tell all your friends and family about us and, and tune in and take a look and see what we got going on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, bail for round one. Quick to take the center of the ring.
Hey, Giovanni doing exactly what we saw him to do last time. And he comes in the ring all business, delivering some brutal body shots, overhand right twice uh, to the head of Jones. Yeah, Leroy's got to throw back or they're going to call this. A grappling match. There he goes, throwing back. He's having a little bit of a hard time finding his range yet. There, Ginny Vani, Giovanni again is so big. I'm a heavyweight and I would have a hard time finding my range. Yeah, I kid you not. There he is attacking the body, throwing looping hooks left and right, and down goes Jones. Back up though, looking good. Uh, Giovanni again with uppercut and another straight, utilizing the jab a little bit. Giovanni attacking the body again. Looks like Gio's having fun in there. Oh, uh, he, he's having a blast. I don't think so much for Jones, though. And Jones, no. you know. At a tremendous reach advantage, uh, he, he's going to have to find a way to get inside and uh, not allow Giovanni to use that reach that he has. <laughs> Looks like he's throwing a couple of looping um, haymakers out of desperation, yeah. wrapping them up a little bit. It's a good idea. To get to, good idea to throw the overhand right there. Close some distance. Yeah, get those hands back up there. Yeah, looking at Jones's record before the fight started, he's um. Uh, you know, for lack of better words, he, he needs a win. He's had a considerable amount of losses over the last few fights. And um, yeah, it's not looking good for him so far tonight. And once again, Giovanni attacking the body. You know, got him leaned up against the ropes, just manhandling him. Jones again with the wrap-up. I tell you what, Chris, it doesn't look like Giovanni throws many light punches, does he? You know, this guy, man, he throws them with a, with, a, with a lot of fervency. He really does. Yes, he does. All right, they're going to – might give this guy a warning if he keeps hugging him. This ain't the UFC. This is boxing. <laughs> but like we said, man, Jones is having a real hard time uh, trying to figure Giovanni out. Uh, he's throwing a couple jabs here and there, but – uh, he's going to have to get inside a little closer. Otherwise, I don't think he's got much of a shot. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure Giovanni's got to uh, duck down to get into the door. Absolutely. To, to anywhere he goes. So. Guy's a tall man. I, I don't know how tall he is. Is there a, do we have a, a number on that? How tall well, it, well, what I believe, this is just guessing off the hip. He's got at least five foot of legs. <laughs> and so if he's got five foot of legs, by the time he makes it to the torso, this man's probably almost seven foot tall. <laughs> he's a, yeah, he's a giant. <laughs> There will be an after party at Heartlands. Feel free to join us and meet your favorite boxes. Let's get ready for round two. Heartlands. All right, after party Food, at Heartlands. Drinks, Food, drinks, sports. Heartlands, man, they're the real deal. They got some really good wings. I they think got... we talked about chicken once before. I'm a chicken fanatic. Oh, they, they have and very I love good wings. Chicken. I agree. All their food is good. I've never had a bad meal there. Never had a bad drink there either. But oh, what? Hey, I, I've I, never really had a bad drink anywhere, to be honest with you. You're, you're man, easy to please. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> as long as it's an adult beverage, I'm happy with it. <laughs> no, I can't have too much sugar. I'm in training camp. You know? All right, right, right. Back Round to two coming up. Giovanni comes out again, attacking with the jab, <clears throat> using, utilizing the left jab over and over. I like Leroy's head movement. Looks like he's waking up a little bit. Oh, taking big shots. Oh, he's attacking that body. Giovanni's hard to the body. Sneaks in the uppercut. I Leroy's tell you, man, but Leroy's not, yeah, he's not, he's not laying down for him, that's for sure. I like the way he's moving better this round than the last round. Utilizing a little bit of head movement. Ooh, good lead hook. Oh. Caught him with a left. Yeah, Leroy's a durable guy. Yeah, he seems like he's tough, man. He's taking he's taking some pretty good shots from Giovanni. 
through that first round of part of the second one. Giovanni just trying to size him up, just throwing him a couple little taps. Yeah, we're gonna see Giovanni start boxing a little more. Yeah. He's looking to get him out of there early, but Leroy's tough, so now we're gonna see him start to pick him apart. My prediction. Got a little shot in there himself, looks like. Looks partially yeah, yeah. blocked. He, I think Leroy may, he may have, well, he may have snuck an uppercut in there that made Giovanni think a little bit. He had him backed up just for a second. Yeah. That's the thing, this is the fight game. Anything can happen. Yeah. Especially you get in there around 200 pounds and up. Most every guy has knockout power, so. Both men back to the center of the ring. Uh, Leroy advancing just a little bit. And he's closing the gap on him, man. You know, he's already felt Gianni's power. Well, he's understanding and, he's got to do something. Yeah, he's got to do something. Absolutely. No one goes in there to lose, you know. Got about 40 seconds left in the second round. Giovanni's got Jones backed up in the corner, trying to figure out a way in. Once again, utilizing the jab a little bit. Hey, Jones is coming though, Chris. I mean, he's. No, I'm, I'm impressed. The second yeah. round. Yeah. He, uh, he, he changed his pace up. Looks like he got those jitters out of the way. And, He's moving his head now, coming forward. Exactly what he needed to do. Yeah. I think you're right when you say Giovanni, you'd like to see him box a little more. I think he had in his mind that he was going to come in here because of his power. Yeah. He thought he was going to steamroll him like the last yeah. couple of opponents. Absolutely. He thought he was going to get him out of there quick, and when it didn't happen. Well, it looks uh, like he, he, looks he, like he's ready, though. Yeah, he's got so. a challenge on his hands. He does. I'm enjoying seeing Giovanni box a little bit because I haven't got yeah. to see him box, honestly. He's, he's right. devastated every opponent I've ever seen him fight. Right. So. You got that right. It's Heart actually exciting rings, for me. Food, drinks, hey, beautiful like ring the, girls. Unlike some of the fights that you and I do together, we actually saw on the on, on one of the first fights of the night, uh, three rounds, at least more than two. Yeah, that's a, that's bad. a I, was, I don't even want to talk about that last show. All right, last And we're back. All right, back for round three. Stiff jabs. Yeah. He's jabbing him now. He's yeah, yeah, Joe's just catching a couple jabs for sure. Hey, it, did, it didn't cut down on his aggression, though, man. He, he He's in it. He really is. No, oh, he's got his hand down. He's going to be careful. Ooh. He's here to fight. Yeah, he, he snuck that left in real good. Got Gio, Giovanni thinking about it. He's got pretty a little bit. Got quick hands. Yeah. Uh, this may be what you were talking about, Chris. He may. He's, he's, he's going to take a point if he doesn't stop yeah. wrestling. You can t you're, you're allowed to tie somebody up. It is a defensive tactic. Right, you right. You can't just hug a guy and hold him on. Extended drugs. Right. Yeah, extended. You can't be grabbing somebody's legs either. I mean, it's not, you know, it's going for a double leg takedown. What that, that's this? what it looked like to me. Is this MMA? I don't know. <laughs> Boxing, right? But I'm, 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 this is a great fight, though. I'm excited about this fight. Yeah, it's a good one. It's not going exactly how I imagined it, so that's always exciting for me. It really isn't. I mean, that's that's the, that's the deception behind some of the records when you look at them and you see a guy like Jones who's experienced a lot of loss in the last several fights, and you would think that Giovanni was going to get him out of there fast. Far from the truth. Yeah, the guy's taking, eating some good shots. Yeah, he is. And he's still moving forward, which is always a dangerous man. And once again, Giovanni attacking the body, comes back up top with a couple of left hooks that connect to the head. 
another left and another. Leroy's doing a good job keeping his hands up, though. Yeah. It's, uh... yeah, he's in some trouble. He's bleeding a little bit. Yeah, he, he's tired, uh, Chris. Yeah, he won't, he won't even let him go. Yeah, he's, he's really tired, man. Leroy's tired. It might be close to the end. It's over. Yeah, he's got a minute and three seconds left to hang in here. No, the referee called it. Uh, never mind, ladies and gentlemen. The fight's called. That was a fun fight, though. That was yeah, a fun good fight. Stuff. Chris, while I got a minute between bouts, um, I'm not sure if you remember this conversation we had. <laughs> well, one time we were uh, over at the gym and watching some of Mike's guys spar, and, and I talked about uh, I thought it was with you and maybe some other people about implementing the Southpaw Promotions Word of the Day. Were you around oh. for that conversation? Word of the Day. Word I'm of not, the Day. I remember it, you saying that to me yeah. sometime. I don't remember if it was at the gym or not. Yeah, we, we were at the gym. We were talking about Southpaw Promotions Word of the Day, and I, I thought it was a good idea because I don't so did think you pick a word? Could. No, see, what I, I don't pick my own word. I, I talk to some of my friends and family, and I say, hey, uh, give me a word uh, that you would like to hear be used during the broadcast. I'll tell you about it. Ivani, Leonidas, Ivani, 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 Ivani. Yeah, that other guy just didn't want to continue. He was yeah. he was trying to get, do anything to get out of there. Yeah, he was. But I, I'll tell you what, though, Leroy Jones, you, you you put on a great performance for you know who you had to fight. Giovanni's a beast. Yeah, he showed up, man. He really, he really did. He showed up man, with heavy hands. Man, sometimes you just get hit in the head so much you don't really know what you're doing anymore. You're just trying to grab onto something. You yeah, know? yeah, that makes sense to me. It makes sense to me. But anyway, going back to the word of the day, I, th I thought it was a good idea. So I don't use my own word. I I talk to a friend, a family member, and and try to you know they try to throw me a curveball. So I talked to one of my buddies, <clears throat> lives in Greenville, gave me the word they wanted me to use in tonight's broadcast. Anywhere in the broadcast, and the word is kerfuffle. 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 Yeah. So I'm going to be honest with you. I had to look it up to see what it I was it about said. to ask you what it meant. But I'm going to be honest with you. What we just saw was a kerfuffle. It's like a, a disagreement. Uh, you know, these, these folks, man, they don't see eye to eye on stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that could be a boxing match. That could be I like barbecue wings and you say you like teriyaki. That could be a kerfuffle depending on where we went with it. Uh, but I told this person, Sacrets, I will use your word effectively in the sentence during this broadcast. I've already okay. done it twice. Well, you, they didn't you, think I was going to be able to do it. But there it is, kerfuffle. Southpaw Promotions. Technically, word even you posting the question to me would be using it correctly in a Real sentence. truth. Real truth. So you've, you've used it multiple times. Hey, at least three You're times. <laughs> yeah, let's go. 